Hola guys. Um, it's Sunday. It has been so far one of those I just want to punch somebody in the face kind of Sundays. You guys ever have those? Or am I the only one who has those? It's like I feel bad that I feel that way on a Sunday, but I do. It's gray and cloudy. We had real bad rainstorm yesterday uh, evening. So today is just muddy and gray and gross and me and my little one are like going stir crazy. We're not used to being in the house and um, there's really nowhere to go on a sleepy lazy Sunday. So we were going to hang around outside but the rain brought out giant monster Jurassic Park mosquitoes that are immune to bug spray. It's like they drink it like friggin vodka. I think they probably get bigger when they bite us with the thing that spray on us it's, it was just almost unbearable and uh little one has a mosquito allergy actually so i have to be real careful um we were gonna make a video outside because i figured the lighting would be better i mean not that the lighting is any is ever awesome in here but i just figured it would be better outside but between the kids out there playing basketball which made every dog in the neighborhood bark um, and one of my neighbors coming out and having an argument on the phone using some very, very foul language that I didn't want my kid to hear, uh, we ended up coming back in. So I'm sitting here in my dining room. Hopefully uh, the lighting is better because I have some items I want to show you guys that I want you to get the full effect of. Uh, well, one thing in particular that I want you to get the full effect of. So I'm hoping the lighting is going to be better. But anywho, uh, I went to Goodwill uh, twice this week. Uh, I found some color tag stuff for my little one and then the rest is just stuff I don't need guys girly stuff that I don't need but I got anyway uh, I came across a mom and pop little thrift store by my job they're only open three days a week and I happened to be stuck in traffic on Friday and it was right there so I kind of just went in and I'm glad I did I was kind of in a hurry to get home but I still picked up a few little things. Uh, they had a lot of clothes, so I'm definitely going to go back and check that out. But they're only open three days a week. So, anywho, uh, let me get into... I'll show you guys what I got there first. Um, the little mom and pop. I don't even remember the name of it. But I picked up some movies. Uh, I got Robots for $1.50 for my little Rugrat. A movie called Canvas. I've never heard of it, but I like this chick. Marsha Gay. I like her. She's so intense. And I like Joe Pantoliano too. Uh, from the back of it, the description, it sounds like it's going to be a tearjerker, which is always good. You know, when that time of the month comes, sometimes you just need a good tearjerker movie to get it all whoosh, out of you. And then I found Three Stooges, the movies. I forgot that they had even made a movie about this. How long too long ago was it? 2012. Not saying much if it's at a thrift store, but um, we watched it yesterday, and it's actually kind of cute. If you, if you like Three Stooges, which I do, it's it's cute. It's it's for dollar fifty. It wasn't it wasn't bad. Um, I also found some makeup there, and I usually don't buy any makeup at thrift stores because why? When you can go to Dollar Tree and load up, and it's funny because I had watched one of the ladies that I uh, subscribe to keeps finding makeup at her thrift store and it's elf and um, milan and stuff like that and i'm always like well that's really cool she gets it even cheaper there than she could get it at a dollar tree which is awesome but my thrift stores never carry new anything well this little one maybe it's the mom and pop stories did now i'm sure if i looked at a whole bunch of dollar trees in my area i could have found these things but i went to one place and found a few i'm going to show you guys the first thing now the first thing I found was a Milani lipstick. Now, it was popped open. The little seal was popped open. Um, It's not really my color, but it is a very pretty color. I would definitely wear it. Now, it has since sat in my purse, and I've since done a swatch of the color. So, it looks a little tampered with. But when I first pulled it out, I did notice the little seal was broken, but it was pristine, guys. It was smooth and shiny. Like nobody had ever put it to their lips or even swatched it or anything. Even the tip, smooth, shiny, everything. And it was 75 cents. 
these are not 75 cents like you can get milani at the dollar tree for a dollar but this stuff the real deal stuff you're not going to find for 75 friggin cents so i bought it and i got it home and i did one of those little alcohol swabby things for like cuts and stuff and i rubbed the top of it just in case anyway i have not used it because i'm still a little leery so if you guys have any suggestions as far as like sanitizing or should i throw it away or keep it or whatever let me know um like i said it looked really really nice it's a number 22 chilled brandy it's a real pretty color um uh, but i haven't used it yet 75 cents um if i come on here and make a video and i have like a growth on my mouth or my lips are swollen bigger than my friggin head uh rest assured there was something funny bunny with this but anywho 75 cents good cleaning hopefully i don't get cooties then they had this bad boy uh 75 cents it's a crystal gloss for lips it's in this pretty hey <sighs> let me open it it's just pretty i tend to call these types of colors raisin because it's kind of a brown, kind of a peach. It's not even a peach. Kind of a brown, kind of a brick, kind of a red. It's like cinnamony. It's pretty, whatever it is. That was 75 cents. Another Milani lip gloss in this real nice, natural little pink. And an elf. And even at places where i buy elf it's rare that i see the lipstick i always see the lip stain and the lip gloss but it's very rare that i see a lipstick and this is a pink nudie natural if you want to say hi to youtube <laughs> uh pinky lipsticks which i thought was cool 75 cents even if i had found it at the dollar tree i still save a quarter so i got that then oops ended up at the goodwill uh halloween's coming up i told you guys i just only recently started celebrating halloween and i think i got into it because of my kid my little one it's something about having little kids turns you into a big kid like there's not a bounce house that is safe from me now um bounce house water slide whatever birthday cake whatever something about having a little one turns you into a big little one and um he wanted me to dress up he kept asking me what i was gonna be and i'm like uh, I don't want to spend the money on a costume because it's costume. Uh, most of the little costumes that I find at the thrift stores are for skinny minis who want to dress like hoochie mama pirates, hoochie mama devils, hoochie mama nurses, hoochie mama, hoochie mama period. That ain't me. Um, and even that, I mean, what am I going to do with it? So I didn't think I was creative enough to create anything off the top of my head. Well, I am creative enough because, yeah, Halloween was my holiday, but trust me, it would probably take me five hours to get dressed up once I get the idea in my head. So that's not what I'm after. I'm trying to find a costume because kiddo wants me to dress up. So I'm walking around. And I find this. Don't judge me, people. It's a big old jack-o'-lantern. I need to wash it, and I better hurry up because it's Sunday and Halloween's Thursday. But I thought it was really, really cute. And considering I'm always trying to disguise my monster, I thought this would be perfect. The one time in my life where a belly will actually help. Uh, it'll benefit. So, yeah, I'm just going to put it on and exhale, honey, because I'm so used to walking around inhaling, trying to hold in my monster. I ain't going to have to hold in nothing on Halloween. I'm just going to let her go. And she's going to be pumpkinized. Uh, I'm trying to find some green leggings. These kind. And they sell them at the beauty supply store that I go to for like two bucks. But I haven't given myself the chance to go. I would love to find some of this green color. And I want to go to Dollar Tree and get some um, leaf vine. The... the garland and wrap those around my arm wrap them around maybe one leg uh make a little crown of it for around my head i want to paint some little green leaves on my face which i might not be able to do because of my allergies to f dyes and stuff i might uh, kill myself but um i definitely want to play up the whole pumpkin theme with some greenery so 
Mama's gonna be a pumpkin. But that's, I got that. And then uh, that day, I've gone twice to Goodwill. The tag was purple. I didn't find anything for me other than the pumpkin that day. And I'm really not looking because I've had another yard sale since my first yard sale. Me and my mom had another yard sale. I made another $200, which was awesome. But my gosh, it's a slap in your face to realize how much stuff you can collect by thrifting. It was, the stuff I was selling wasn't like, anything I've been hoarding you know stuff that I've grown out of stuff that doesn't fit or stuff that still fits but I don't wear so a lot of it was absolutely necessary to get rid of but anywho um I I'm trying not to buy myself any clothes but I did find baby some stuff the tag was purple I found him um two awesome little shirts <laughs> he's too little for um it's a Ralph Lauren long sleeve just a button down. It was $3.99, so two bucks after discount. And it's really, really huge. He's not gonna be able to wear this for a few years. But anytime I see Ralph Lauren anything in good condition, I will snag it for him, whether it'll take a while for him to grow into it or not, shoes or whatever, because it is quality stuff and it does take a beating. This stuff, more, <laughs> I consider high-end, maybe it's because we were raised poor, like if you had some nicer clothes, don't play in it, don't run in it, don't do anything to it because you're going to mess it up. But Ralph Lauren is made for rough and tumble kids. Like, you can crawl around on the floor and play with your little Hot Wheels in the ground and their clothes hold up. Um, so when I can find it and really at a really awesome price, I'm going to grab it. So he'll grow into it. That's another four dollar one so two dollars each for that and then i found him a chap sweater which is of ralph lauren but i destroyed it guys i don't know how i did this it was not like this at the store because i tried it on him he was with i don't know how i did this now i do recall feeling a snag as i was pulling it out i think it caught on to something but I'm hoping I can get that fixed. It's a really pretty green color. And I think he looks nice in this color. Nice, squishy sweater. That was only $1.99. Um, I think that was an awesome price. So I'm hoping I can fix this. I don't know anything about sewing. I'm hoping I can sew it. But really cute sweater for him. Uh, that's what I got that one day. The next day I went in. <sighs> the only reason I went in was because I had a coupon. I had a coupon, buy one item, full price, get another item, half off, any item in the store. And I didn't really have any plans for it other than I was just going to go to Goodwill and find something. I found quite a few little surprises that day. Uh, you guys remember a fossil bag I found had a giraffe print. It might have a giraffe print. I've gone fossil crazy at Goodwill. Because I'm either working with coupons or I've gotten lucky and management or somebody will give me a, don't worry about it, on it. But um, this pattern seems familiar to me. I've, I have this in my closet or I was going to get, I'm not sure. I think I have a purse like this. But I found the wallet. Um, If I do have the matching bag, hurrah. If I don't, it'll just, it's a wallet. I'll stick it in anyone. But it's in real good condition, and it surprised me that it didn't have the FGW written in it, like all of it. It's kind of in rough shape. Some of the fuzzies came off of it. The little pony hair came off here on the bottom and all, but I don't care. I just, I thought it was nice. It's constructed real nice, and I got it because I'm hoping that I remembered correctly and I have the matching purse. But it was $1.99 and I was surprised because they're real bipolar with their friggin' fossils at the Goodwill. They'll like practically give them away one month and then the next month they're wanting like $30, $40 for one. It's like ridiculous. But it was $1.99. It was in a little bin with a bunch of other stuff. So I grabbed that. Um, I went bag crazy, guys. I found this awesomeness she was buried under a whole bunch of stuff uh it's alfred dunner i associate alfred dunner with the 80s with those big shoulder pad um suits career suits and stuff so i don't know if he's current or not alfred dunner i'm not trendy you guys i don't know what's out what's hot what's now what's i i don't i i sometimes accidentally remember uh trends but 
I'm not on that. So I just remember the name. And I don't think this bag is from the 80s, but um, it's really pretty and it's in great condition. The inside is a little dirty. I've stuffed it with newspaper so you guys could get the feel of it. The inside is a little dirty. Um, I got to figure out how to clean the interior. It doesn't smell. It's just dirty. It has these two little interior, two little exterior pockets. Looks kind of like a muff, but it doesn't connect. It's just two separate little pockets in there. I thought this was awesome. I love anything faux snake, lizard, whatever. I love faux skin. That was gorgeous. $1.99 because the lady at the register, according to her offer, Dunner was not a brand. So their no brands are $1.99. Then I came across this, and this is the reason that I was hoping the lighting in here was good, because I want you guys to get the feel for the detail on this friggin' little gem. This thing is awesome. This is a straight-up granny bag. Y'all ever watch Mama's Family, and Mama always had one of these bags on her arm like that? Well, not like this, but this style. It's called a, I call it a granny bag. Okay, check this bag out, guys. These are feathers. Layers and layers of feathers inlaid on this purse to make this gorgeousness. These are peacocks, right? Is that a peacock feather? I think that's a peacock feather. But it's beautiful. I'm going to sit here and tell y'all it's beautiful. The friggin' artsmanship, craftsmanship, whatever for this is incredible. Even the strap, you guys, they inlaid little feathers in the strap. Somebody took their time with this bag, and with the killer of it all, there's not a tag in it. There's not a brand. There's nothing in it. Even the little clasp is pretty. It's this brown metal, this pretty, pretty brown metal with uh, gold or copper um, little layering on it. Gorgeous, gorgeous bag, and no tag in it at all, but it's clean. It's clean, no smell, no nothing. The little clasp works. This is the prettiest friggin' thing. I would almost wear all black just to showcase this bag because I think it's that gorgeous. And it was $1.99 because there was no label in it. I'll take it. Okay, now here comes um, my, my coupon workings. The coupon said, buy one item full price, get the other half off. Now I've had that type of coupon before and they usually let me mix and match kind of stuff um, you know how most places that give you that option, buy one, get the other half off? It usually has to be buy one of equal or lesser value to get the other half off, which means you're going to pay full price for the more expensive one and the cheaper one you're going to get half off, right? Goodwill, at least my Goodwill, doesn't do that. If the coupon says buy one full, get something else half off, and this particular one said on any item, it was so on any item. So, that's what I went in there for. And I come across these guys. These are so cute. And it's starting to get cold. I found these bad boys. These are the cutest little thing. Even the logo is cute. It's this little pigtail girl with an attitude. She has like one eye blunk, blinked and a scowl on her face. I think it's a little girl with piggy tails. I don't know if y'all can see that. Uh, but these are friggin' awesome. I love the little ties. And then they fold down to reveal this teddy bear fuzziness going on in there. Cute. Absolutely love them. I shoved them with newspaper to give y'all a feel. But you know what? I'm curious in case y'all are curious what this brand is. So let me see if I can. Sugar. The brand is called Sugar. Some of you guys might know about it. I don't know about it. Some of you guys might be curious as to what it was. But they're really, really cute. And my nosy self is probably going to Google here in a little bit. Because these are adorable. Uh, their shoes are usually $4. Unless they got brand new donations from Target. And those can be up to $8 or $12. But the regular shoes are usually $4. Uh, when I went up to the counter, the lady there, just like me, didn't know, are these shoes? Are these house shoes? House shoes are $1.99. So she let me have these for $1.99. So I paid these for full, I paid full price for these. Not ex, not thinking that she was going to go for this other item I'm going to show you as half off. But it's the second time these people there have decided, hey, the coupon says what the coupon says. They gave me the option. They give 
they give their customers an option. Which one do you want to pay full price for? Really? Okay. So I walked away with another awesomeness of a bag, you guys, <sighs> for half off. Now, I still ended up spending more money than I usually spend. But when I come across something this friggin' awesome, I will get it. It's another fossil. I got a crossbody in this same pattern that I showed you guys not too long ago for a really, really awesome deal. Uh, so here's this one. It's this little, um, the little twisty uh, enclosure. There's the inside. There's the infamous FGW, which is fine. Ain't nobody gonna be looking in my bag except me and you guys. Uh, but it's gorgeous and it's heavy. I don't know if it's a hardware or if it's the leather, but it's really heavy. Uh, it can work as a crossbody. It's gorgeous. It has this um, compartment in the back. Beautiful bag. It was priced at $15.99. But because they gave me the option of, which do you want to pay full price for? I said, I'll pay $1.99 for the shoes and use my coupon on the bag. She just smiled because she knew. Like I said, I don't know if that's the rule for the coupon or that's just the way our Goodwill does their customers. But I got this for 8 bucks. Um, more than I would usually spend for a bag, but not anything I'd sneeze at for a fossil. And there's the telltale slit, the telltale slit on the back, and then some of the little, um, skin is peeling right there. But still, it's a nice bag. I'm going to get a lot of wear with it, a lot of use out of it. So, um, those were my finds. And now what I'm going to do today, because today is still, ugh, it's not going to get any better. Um... While I'm waiting for game four of the World Series to come on, uh, so I can root on my socks, even though Miss Ellen MC, uh, the Cardinals whooped us yesterday. At the very last minute, I'm trying to be <sighs> wussaw about it. Uh, I'm waiting for game four. I'm thinking while I'm doing that, or after, whatever, I'm going to go through my bag closet because I have become absolutely addicted to the great deals that I'm finding on these fossil bags. So I'm thinking I might do another giveaway. It's going to be a thrifted item, but we love thrifted items. So I don't think anybody will be in a thrifted item. And if y'all are, you're on the wrong channel. Um, but um, I'm thinking about doing a giveaway. Maybe for Christmas. Maybe like a thrift store in a box kind of giveaway. Just little thrifted items that I've found. I'm really considering it, you guys. Uh, because this last giveaway was a blast. I had a blast. Um, for you guys that are still hanging in there with me. That came on. That subscribed because of the giveaway. And you're still with me. Hi. Thanks for sticking around. I'm glad y'all like what y'all are seeing. And uh, there definitely will be more giveaways. So until my next go around. Until my next hurrah. Um, I will talk to you guys very, very soon. Peace, love, and happiness, and soul training. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, it's